Cortisol is also known as our stress hormone. It's produced and released in our adrenal glands. Did you know that our adrenal glands were right on top of our kidneys? Cortisol plays a vital role in many different functions in the body. It affects almost every single organ and tissue. Let's talk about a few of the roles that cortisol has in the body. It helps with regulating our body's response to stress, our ability to break down carbohydrates, protein, and fat for metabolism, helps with regulating blood pressure, blood sugar. It also causes immune suppression. Lastly, cortisol is involved in our circadian rhythm and our sleep and wake cycle. Cortisol tells our liver to release glucose. Glucose is our body's main source of fuel. It gives us energy so that we can do that fight or flight response in a stressful situation. High cortisol levels are associated with high blood pressure. Low cortisol levels are associated with low blood pressure. Chronically elevated cortisol levels can increase your risk for obesity and chronic disease. Let's talk about some symptoms of high cortisol levels. Midsection weight gain, muscle weakness, high blood sugar, hypertension, fatigue, mental fogginess, mood swings, and bruising easily. Your cortisol levels can be checked in a simple test through your saliva. You could also get blood work done. We'd recommend checking your cortisol levels in the morning and at night, maybe even a couple times throughout the day as they do alter throughout the day. Typically, our cortisol levels are highest in the morning and lowest in the evening. There are many lifestyle factors that can influence your cortisol levels in a positive way to get us back to that normal homeostasis. The first thing we can do is prioritize sleep, sleeping seven to eight hours per night. Typically, night shift workers have higher cortisol levels. Making sure that we're exercising regularly, going for walks outside, prioritizing whole foods, focusing on those three core nutrition principles at Healthy Steps Nutrition. Whole foods first, focusing on balance and limiting the amount of ultra processed food and added sugar. We want to try to potentially incorporate some adaptogens into our normal eating routine. Adaptogens are those active parts of plants and mushrooms that can support normalizing cortisol levels. Focusing on our breathing techniques, either box breathing where you're breathing in for four seconds, holding for four seconds, breathing out for four seconds, and holding for four seconds to slow our heart rate down can also help with balancing out our cortisol levels. Lastly, we wanna make sure to make time for our social connection with relationships, have a hobby, go outside, have fun with friends and family. If you think you're struggling with high cortisol levels, go ahead and ask your doctor to get them checked for you. No matter if we are struggling with high cortisol or we are wanting to prevent high cortisol levels, we'd wanna remember those lifestyle factors.